breaking away from one state to form a new one is as old as the United States. Beginning in 1776, when the colony of Delaware broke from Pennsylvania, Maine was once part of Massachusetts, West Virginia and Kentucky were once part of Virginia, and Tennessee was a breakaway from North Carolina. And of course, much of the South seceded and called itself a separate country until it was defeated in the Civil War. It is time for Americans fed up with an overbearing government to seek a new path, taking a page from the recent attempt by Scotland to leave the United Kingdom, that of seceding from the United States and forge that new path. Well, that's indeed the suggestion being touted by one who knows the government inside and out. A pleasure to welcome to Midpoint a physician, author, former Republican congressman, two-time Republican presidential candidate, and the Libertarian presidential nominee in 1988, Ron Paul joins us. Dr. Paul, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you. Nice to be with you. You also, you realize, of course, you started up and stirred a little bit up here when you talked about people seceding from the United States. Was it Scotland that first got you thinking about this, or is this something that's been brewing with you for a while? Yeah, I think ever since uh, the founders talked about it. <laughs> you know, they talked about independence and breaking loose and starting a new country, so it's part of the American tradition. And, uh, you know, uh, America has taken this position for other people all the time. You know, when we went into World War I, uh, Woodrow Wilson was very adamant that uh, people should have a right of self-determination and uh, they should have a right for their independence, and that was one of the reasons we were involved in World War I. So it's been around for a long time. There's nothing strange about it. Wouldn't it create chaos, though, if states, if groups, if large sections of the country basically decided they wanted to be on their own? Give us an idea of how that would work, then, if indeed it happened. Well, I would first have to suggest we look at what we have now and whether or not there's chaos. If there's no chaos, then there's no need to separate or be independent. Uh, obviously, if you take a country like Ukraine, there's a lot of chaos in Ukraine. Uh, we have the West supporting one half and Russia supporting the other half. They don't even speak the same language in each, each section. So maybe that chaos can be resolved by the right of self-determination and and, and independence and you know even if if you do this this doesn't mean that you don't deal with other people you might deal with them in a better fashion you might have a better relationship if you're not thinking that one side is dominating the other side would it be difficult though look for some states and i guess what i'm thinking about here is people wanting to become a new state for instance as we talked about here in the open a little bit states breaking away but then you'd have new governments new people in charge and to be very honest dr paul some people who are in government right now in some of these places don't know what they're doing at this point and then you're going to put them in charge of their own state that's a little scary well, somebody asked me the other day whether I was supporting what was going on in some areas, which I don't know much about, even in Texas, you know, about separation. And I said, well, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I better check out those guys in Austin before I make a decision on that. You're right. I mean, uh, it has to be a wise choice. And uh, But, you know, it isn't the separation and the independence that is the most important thing. It's the right uh, of this to exist and it be recognized that way. Because once that right was totally demolished with our civil war, that is when our government started growing and the uh, systematic undermining of local government. So uh, if, if the federal government and those people who like federal governments and big governments, if they knew that, you know, if we overdo it, they might just say, I've had enough, and they'll back off. That's sort of the reason why the founders liked uh, nullification, too. And right now, the federal government has been overly overbearing, you know, with the enforcement of the drug laws. And now the states have become more independent and they've more or less started to nullify the federal encroachment. So it's just the threat that you could either leave or you could nullify laws which would hold the government in check. So any conservative who thinks maybe the federal government is too big and too involved, all they have to do is talk about the right, and they don't have to say, well, I know what I want to do, and this is what I'm advocating, and, and that gets people all nervous. There you go. I'm going to ask you to hold on for a sec. We're going to take a break, come back on the other side. Ron Paul joins us. We'll talk more about the new war in Syria and what to do about the Ebola outbreak in Texas. That and much more coming up right here on Midpoint.